Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, playing as the United Kingdom of Portugal and Brazil in Hearts of Iron 4. So, last time we, of course, established or re-established the kingdom, and you know what? This looks a little different. Uh, El Salvador, what are you doing with the Japanese? As you can tell, I have finally been able to add on a, a few mods, most notably the colored uh, buttons mod, which... I was missing that for a while. Honestly, it's, it's not a huge change, but when you see these, the colorful nature of this, it makes me feel a little better. I like a little more color in my life, sometimes. And, of course, more color down here, too. Cool. Uh, we're at 46% world tension. I think we need 50%, not 47, uh, to go justify on this Spaniards over here, because <clears throat> we've got a couple claims on Extremadura. Some reason we have claims on Seville or Sevilla. Okay, Peru has also joined the Japanese faction. Good for you. But, uh, Galicia. I think that's how you pronounce it, because there's Galicia over there, and Galicia is over here. La Coruña. Hmm. You know what? I, some people have already commented on yesterday's video and stated that, you know what? Maybe I should take a couple extra territories. Okay, Dominican Republic. Good for you. But, uh, you know what? I'm thinking. What if we took out Spain? Established... <clears throat> perhaps the... Monarchy, perhaps? Oh, wait, we went with Remember This. Oh, I wanted the Royal Iber Iberian Alliance. Darn it, why'd I do that? Hmm... Form the Royal Iberian Alliance. Darn it, I wish I didn't do that yesterday. I should not have done that. I wanted to combine us together. Nonetheless, maybe I will form... A somewhat united Iberia by having Carlos Spain come back, but of course we take Galicia, Sevilla, and Extra Madura, or however you pronounce that. So, uh, right now we could get more stability. Oh, Czechoslovakia joined the Allies. We're definitely 51%. How strong is Spain? Well, according to our civilian intel, they have about 140,000 manpower, which isn't bad. 13 military factories, which isn't bad either. We don't have much intel on their army. I prefer this just because it's a little easier to see. At least for their manpower. Uh, we have a good, a decent amount of information on their navy, which is zero. And, real quick, before we do anything, what's the faction like? We have Axis, we have the Allies, we have Metamores, France not in the Allies. And portions of Central America, the Caribbean, and South America are in the Japanese sphere, which is fighting J all the Allies. So, this shouldn't land me in too much hot water, but, uh, yeah. Oh, good, good job, Venezuela. Good enough do really well down there. So we're training our guys up. We want them to be extra strong so we can go to war with these Spaniards. Okay, Italy finally joined the Allies. Or Axis, I mean. So... Hmm... I am thinking... Oh, Romania joined the Allies too. What do I want to do? Do I want to have a Carlist Spain under me with taking some territories taken? That might be fun. That might be a lot of fun, actually. I think I might do that. Uh, let's see, factory-wise, we need a lot more guns. We can produce some great war tanks. I'm not going to make tanks like that, because that's... Uh, that's okay. Fighters, bombers, all super, super important stuff. The division that we're using right now is infantry, which is 16. How much... Are, oh, I don't want to hurt my artillery. 16 combat width is not great. But it'll suffice, probably, for this civil war. Now, of course, I do also have a state transfer tool mod back on, so that's pretty cool. Because if when the civil war ends, I'm going to assume that the Spanish directory is going to get everything... But if I do enough of, you know, war score, get enough war score participation, I'm definitely going to take something. So, Cooperative Republic of Guiana has capitulated. We have portable radios. Very nice. We get more passive defense. Economy. You know what? We need more army intel. So let's go ahead and do this one. That'll be great. Two out of two still. That's fine with me. What are we building? Republic of Trinidad and Tobago has capitulated. No one cares. And we're still building up military and civilian factories. Not bad. It's only 1939, so the war started a little bit early. Monarchists on the rise. Where did that stop? We get more stability every week, which is going to be extremely helpful. War support goes up by one as well. Oh yeah, weekly war support. Weekly stability. This is just amazing. But I honestly, I really, really regret right now going with the Royal... Not going the Royal Iberian Alliance. I should have waited. I should have waited. God dang it. Whatever. Officers revolt in the Soviet Union. Now, I know this is not part of the DLC, but this is just a little crazy. I mean, this isn't even Road to 56. 
This is just normal vanilla Hoi 4 with a uh, few mods on, such as stage manager tool mod, color buttons, colored events, and player of peace conferences, which should work. But, uh, this, is this, for, is this the next DLC? Like, come on, man. Oh, wait, do you, are you sending stuff to the Spanish Civil War? Are you both sending stuff? That'd be really cool. Ah, uh, but now the Spaniards no longer, or normal Spain, no longer has volunteers. They should be sent back. We have about 70 days until we can go to war with these fellas. And right now, our intel is too low for us to prepare anything over there. Which is fine with me. Let us let time go on. Uh, war propaganda wouldn't be too bad. How much we get? 1.56? That's not bad. Yeah, I might get the Carlists under us. And then eventually just integrate them into my country. Czechoslovakia is definitely putting up a very good fight against Germany. But then again, they have probably Romanian divisions and they're helping them out. They have taken a little bit piece of Schlesen, 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 Oberschlesen, Oberschlesen. Hmm. The the area that was taken over in the Brothers' War in 1866, something like that. Cool. Keep building up stuff, even though we're actually running out of places to build stuff up in. 50, 50, 50. Do that. I want a lot of factories. I'm going to save these two for naval stuff, because making only subs, eh, that's okay. It's not great. Um, you guys definitely need a little bit more something, something on you. Even though I have no room to give you more something, something. Hmm. Artillery, that's not bad. Subs are okay. Ah, and speaking of subs, these need better torpedoes and engines. Yeah, at the very minimum, you have to have that. Uh, destroyers, 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 torpedo launchers. At least give them a fighting chance. Oh my goodness, these are so not bueno. Fire control one's fine. Torpedo ones. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, you know what? You're not even being made yet, so do that. There you go. Lisbon, tell everyone else all these extra subs to come home and just, like, upgrade. I'd rather have you guys do relatively okay, maybe, and then just die. Uh, do that. Since I'd rather have good subs than garbage subs. There you go, my friends. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome. And, of course, we still have normal ships over here, too. Which are just... Oh, we got some screens here, too. 14. Luxembourg joined the Allies. All right. Uh, which one's which? There you go, that's better. Good. And we have a cipher for the Empire of Brazil, which obviously we don't need. Uh, oh, the army department's done. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Plastic explosives, antipartisan, civilian economy, plastic explosives. I can blow stuff up. Diplomatic training. Nah. Enemy operative capture chance, commando training. I don't know what commando does. I'm going to try that. Two out of two cell, which is fine. 114, not bad. Keep training for now. Alright, stop training. Good enough for now. Prepare yourselves. Support weapons too. Luxembourg is gone. That's honestly pretty much expected. Can I do anything else here? War propaganda wouldn't be too bad. I could use more stability. I do want to go to war economy eventually. Military high command. Artillery, artillery, artillery. Tanks. Tank designer. Eh, that's okay. Ship designer. Eh, that's okay. Aircraft designer. That's better than... The things we've seen so far. Infantry, yeah, we saw this yesterday. It's okay. Industrial stuff? That's not bad. Could be better. Uh, I'm not going to go with Old Guard. We already get enough political power every day. 1.58. Army XP gains okay. I will probably go for more attack. Military vehicles, though. Beautiful. Let us now come this way. Military research facilities. Our efforts to improve our armament industries must be accompanied by an adequate investment in research if we want to keep a modern and competent army. Oh, we get a thousand manpower weekly. I mean, just keep making those babies, guys. Just keep popping them out. I mean, that is... You know, it's not a ton, but that's 4,000 a month. Like, I don't know how well you guys are reproducing, but you're doing really great. Like, the, this, the Portuguese, Brazilian, the one people. They're one people now. Great people. Uh, are we still, and we're still getting more uh, non-aligned, which doesn't make any sense. Ideology. It really should be monarchism, but, you know, whatever. Awesome. And in preparation for the war, 
We're gonna come out swinging. You guys. Operations. We could prepare some operations. Capture Cypher. Infiltrate the... Ooh. Collaboration government. Well, I don't think that's really gonna work. Let's prepare... What if we invaded the army? Oh. That's not bad. Safe cracker? I like that. I eventually might start stealing stuff from Germany or France. Maybe France? I mean, we're probably going to join the Allies. I don't think France is in the Allies yet. No, they're not. Luxembourg fell. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, Germany's probably not going to go to war with the Metamors. They're close to Prague. Commando training. Nice. Local training centers. Operative recruitment choices. Oh, I like choices. That costs 10, though. That's 10. That's a lot. I don't want to get 10 at a time. That's a, that's a bit too much for me. I'm fine with 5. Diplomatic training, plastic explosives, economy, and civilian stuff. I'm ready. I am ready for a war against these guys. Uh, they don't look super strong. Well, they kind of do. But our divisions have been training. They're relatively okay-ish. And let's go for some better tanks. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm actually really enjoying this. Oh, we got this effort done for Spain. I'm really enjoying this Portuguese campaign. It's really, really interesting to see what can happen. We need more guns. We're pretty good on artillery. We need some more support equipment. And we need more fighters. Pretty much everything here makes super a lot of sense. Do that so we can get at least a little more support equipment so we can get more recon, maybe. Or even... Ooh, there goes Egypt. Uh, other stuff, like... Engineers. Foundations for an Indian state. Oh, the Raj is still there. Are you... Like, what happened? Did they have... I think they had the, uh... <clears throat> following government. Ooh. Oh, wait. Yeah. Because we didn't want to do a change of course. That is for my other campaign. That is for my, my uh... Orleanist campaign. Germany, I think Germany will win this one in the end. They did take Prague. They'll probably win, but it's probably going to cost them a lot of resources. Ah, 100% world tension. Very nice. The German Kenyan War. 100. Wow. Czechoslovakia has lost a lot of guys. Palestine is gone. The UK has lost quite a few guys to Italy. I forgot Italy, Italy was in the war as well. Oh, that's why they took out Egypt. Italian Israel, or Italian Palestine. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Now, I would like to take over the country, but we'll see what happens. I don't know how many planes the enemy has, but we're going to see. Three, two, one. Um, actually... They have a lot more manpower now. Holy cow. That's okay. And guard, my friends! If you can do well, I hope you can. Oh, actually, click on... I want this division, please, thank you. Come attack, help attack there. Uh, you're all attacking that way. You know what? Try that. Oh, and you know what? Oh, I should have done this. Reveal intel. So we get less invasion penalty, more max planning speed, which doesn't matter. Defense against country. Invasion preparation bonus. Breakthrough. I should have done that earlier. More breakthrough, please. For the love of God, I love the breakthrough. I love breakthrough so much. Uh, you know what? You guys can probably hold it if you're not going to win. That's totally fine if you don't win. Just don't cause casualties that don't need to happen. Ah, infantry expert. Good. Good. And we have cavalry officer here. Awesome. Should be doing okay. Help out down here. Oh, actually, you know what? Right click. Sign orders. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Economy and civilian. Hmm. What else? Do we really need anything else? Root out resistance. Yeah, let's do that one. We'll probably need that at least a little bit. Good. You guys are doing okay. Guys, please. For the love of God, please. Just stay there. Ah. No. Just in case. Send one of you guys there. Send one of you guys right there. You might as well go do that. You guys are looking okay-ish. Here and there. Jordan has fallen. Not bad. Not bad. That looking okay so far. Get us quite a bit more XP. We've lost a thousand versus... Holy cow. That's a lot of dead Spaniards. Awesome. Actually, we're having more success in the center of the line, even though our plans are northwest. Or really, for, for us, north or northeast. Doing okay-ish. Not great in some areas. You know, that's like here. We're not doing great here. So go ahead and hold. Stop the attacks. We're going to concentrate our forces a little bit better. Let's go ahead and hold for now. 
Except for you three. Push him out, push him out. Uh oh. And Russia was annexed. Eh, who cares? It's only Russia. Good, good, good. Awesome. So, losses. 2,000 versus 11 and a half thousand. Pretty decent so far, I'd say. Uh, I might be able to bait them into attacking me here. I want to get rid of these guys down here. Oh, they're attacking me. Okay, cool. Very nice. Very good. And... How much o'clock was there? They're not that close. Uh, you're going to come down here anyways. Let's see what happens. How close are you now? Oh, you're almost there. Stop them. Awesome. Immediately begin attacking. You're attacking over river, which is never a good thing, so attack him in the back. You're moving on down. That's good. They're attacking us. Which is a little unusual, but... <sighs> a fourth research slot. Armor focus. That's not bad. Motorized focus. That's okay. Uh, I want to do this. Or this. Oh, construction speed. Yeah, let's do that. Industrial modernization. I still need to do army stuff. But it can wait. So, industrial modernization. Most of our civilian industry is still out of date. It can be much more efficient if we take the time and resources to invest on its upgrades. Absolutely. And a fourth research slot. Happy 1939, my friends. Let's get some more output. We're doing really well on guns and artillery. What we really need help with is support equipment. Uh, keep making more military factories for now. Keep upgrading our ships. Um, yeah, that's not bad. Could use more planes, too. German Reich formalizes anti-Soviet pact. All right. Uh, interesting. Uh, two divisions. Not going to have a good time down here. Oh, America. FDR. I know. I always knew you like monarchism. You always love the Brazilian people and the Portuguese people as well. We are one. What are we going to call ourselves? The Portu-Brazilians? Brazil Portuguese? The rightful rulers of the universe? I don't know. Something like that. Passive defense. Plastic explosives. Machine assisted decryption. That sounds like fun. That's that's expensive. But that sounds like fun. What are you guys up to? You guys are planning something, right? Infiltrate the army. That's good stuff. Ah! Dead. <laughs> FDR, you just, you just like, hey man, we want to help you, but not really. Pfft, come on, man. Oh, oh, we found some enemy tanks. Well, that is really not muy bueno. Uh, stability could be better. I'm going to increase that right now. Actually, I didn't need to do that at all. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. So, our operations are going okay. Our breakthrough with the cipher de decryption is probably reset by now, which is fine. You know, oh, we just got another garrison. Awesome. Awesome. You guys come here and take that tile. Salmanica? Salmanca. So we have 13%. So it pretty t much tells me Galicia. Cool, cool, cool. Take three divisions, attack here, so we can get a river defensive line. These horses need something more. 16 combat width. Ooh, another division. Glorious. And we're using these guys instead of these guys, so... We have enough guns. I don't mind putting on one more cavalry. As long as it doesn't hurt our supply too much. Oh, that almost killed our supply, though. So, make him just a little bit stronger. And I am spying something really delightful. Oh, they have Gibraltar? Nice. Ah, delay doctrine. Good. More organization. Let's get some more defense. Oh boy, I'm leaving. This is not a good idea. Uh, plug them up, plug them up, plug them up. Good, 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 good. Bergmans? I love the Bergmans. Uh, hmm. They're not that close to capitulating. I could try just gunning for Madrid. But I don't want to see that happen yet. I want to get up to Cordoba, probably. Let's go to Malaga. Get up to Cordoba. We might be able to make it a small encirclement here. If we are smart. Now, that's if we're smart. I don't know. You can stop attacking, wasting resources. Oh, oh, never mind. Just take Seville. 
good. Get up to Cordoba. I love the horses. Get up to Cordoba as well. Good. Come on, horsies. These guys can't hold up forever. Oh, and I do have some Spanish. No, Spanish. Uh, coffee from uh, the good state of well, the good country of Brazil under us. Oh, machine assisted stuff. Not bad. Another 10. Let's get some more government ciphers going. Uh, go ahead and hold. I guess you can't really get there. That's okay. You guys are doing alright, anyways. Hmm. Spies. What are you guys up to? Operations completed. Close. Next operation. Well, let's at least build an intel network in Madrid. And you'll build an inter network in Galicia. Build that stuff up. I still want to push this way, if we can. Come on, push them out. They're not that strong. Yeah, you guys are there. Hmm. Cordoba. As much as I want to, what we really need is this tile. Don't it encourage them. Help out there. We can circle the Soviet divisions, which would be great. Come on. Awesome. Infantry, just go ahead and move them on in there. Thank you very much. And they're dead. I love it. All in the name of a united Iberia. Oh, and you can pop your stuff over there. Now, with the cavalry, they're doing a great job. I'm loving this cavalry right now. What are we going to do? Well, what's Germany doing? They're pushing the checks back. Not bad. How is China doing? Eh, it's doing okay. Uh, that's not looking great for them. That's okay. That's okay. Whatever. Whatever. This war definitely is not won yet. But how do we do better for ourselves? You know what? You guys come here. Take these lower states. Hmm, I like that. I like it a lot. 71 days, we can repair more stuff. We need more intel, though. Forced, forced, first. Oh, someone got encircled there. That's fine, as long as they struggle as well. I'm fine with that. I'm totally okay with that. Supplies of weapons. More support equipment. Planes, fighters. Well, that's also planes. Steel? Eh, steel can wait. General Steel. I might do something like that, and then circle around to Cordoba. It's a little... slowing down, it feels like, a little bit. Um, we could probably push this guy out if we really wanted to. Two versus one, government cipher school. Cool. Machine, machine assisted learning. Cryptology level. Uh, frankly, I don't know if anyone really cares about, like... <laughs> Hacking into my, like, systems and stuff. Systems. Pfft. You know what I mean. Uh, let's go ahead and raise some uh, infrastructure. So we can build here and here. One slot, one slot, one slot, two slots. Uh, there's really not that many places I can build. One slot. One. Zero. None. None. Um, I'm running out of places to build slots. That's why I need to take over Iberia. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do I do? What do I do? Infrastructure. More tungsten? More chromium? Do we need more steel? I think I need more steel. Build. We get a steel. Mm hmm. We get a steel. Keep making everything that you're making. Soon enough, we'll have more land. Ah, Czechoslovakia has capitulated. That's good for the Germans. Which is not good for us, or Europe. Which is fine, you know, whatever. Whatever. Mercy is on fire. We're good attacking here. Industrial modernization, and we shall get. Oh, we need advanced machine tools. Oh, god dang it. Uh, what's about staff weapons? Land auction? I like that. Factory output? Naval stuff could be really good to do. Oh, we can actually buy ships from the British and the Italians. How about colonial assimilation policy? So, contrarily to other countries, the Portuguese nation is not defined by race, but by its shared culture and civiliz civilizing mission. Instead of racial prejudice... We need miscegenation. I can never say that word. Never can say that word. Ah, 
A shared culture between all. You know what? These guys aren't hitting hard enough. I want you to hit hard with them. Ah, oh, the German Reich claims Mimel. Oh, now that is interesting. Wow. Oh, now they're trying to attack me a little bit more. That's fine. That's going to take a while to do. That's fine with me. Just keep taking a lot of territory, I guess. Uh, you guys come up here. You guys, yeah, you guys come up there. See how far we can get. People's Republic of Spain. We're doing pretty darn well, not gonna lie. Pretty darn well. Okay, so Yugoslavia joined the Axis, which is a terrible thing for Romania because... Ah, uh, God. Whoa! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, what? Wait, you're democratic, but you just joined the... Oh, God. Um, I guess that makes sense since you're going monarchist, but you're not even a monarchy yet. You're more non-aligned than anything. So we have Italy, Germany, France, Yugoslavia versus the Allies, which... The United States better get in that war. Because I don't want to end up... You know, I might just join the Axis. Screw it. I might just join them. Uh, you guys might want to hold, because they're starting to uh, have free thought. Go ahead and hold these guys here as well. I want to take Cordoba and destroy that division at least. Come on, come on. Oh, actually, just move on in there. No free thought for you. Yeah, at least that looks pretty decent. Even though our front line... Oh, we definitely need more divisions around here. Come on, come on, move, 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 move. Get in there. Get in there, please. You're almost there. Almost there. Oh, we're still trying to defend against Soviet tanks. Awesome. Beautiful. Smash them. Destroy them. Give him no mercy. I'm surprised the Nationals aren't doing any better still. Yeah, definitely a little bit more laggy. You know what? We're not even fighting up here right now. Come on down here. There you go. Attack some of the enemy planes. Destroy them. Have a good time. You know, the normal stuff. Mm. Sorry, I was drinking some coffee. There we go. Moving there. They haven't moved into there, which is good. Okay, so Yugoslavia is in itself in a bit of a pickle. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. How big is that division? That's got to be a massive division. Uh, go for medium tanks. I know I could get artillery, more factory upgrades, but this is what I want or need right now. Come on, come on. Um, that's fine. I didn't take that. It doesn't really matter. How are divisions coming along? They're coming along okay-ish. We need more support equipment. We got a full thing of our toad artillery. Nice. Definitely need more planes, though. Oh, good. They're dead. Reform the front line just a little bit. Yeah, I'm, they're, the Nationals are just falling apart now. Holy cow. Decrypt that. Yeah, I don't know why I wasn't doing that earlier. I thought it was still going off for some reason. Oh, resistance to occupation. Extra murder. Now, what am I going to do about this? That's fine using that template. I don't really care. But, civilian oversight? They already have low compliance, so it doesn't even matter. Harsh quotas. Ooh, military governor. Well, how much, how much resistance do they have right now against us? So it's going up by 0.2. We need to get them down by at least 0.2. So what I'm thinking... Let's go with a secret police, perhaps? Or military governor. What if we tried that? 16%. 16.0%. Oh, nope, that's not going to be good enough. I need... Martial Law. Go with Martial Law, see what happens here. 16.3%? It's going back down. Good. If they don't want to comply, so be it. Whatever. Whatever. But they're attacking me now, which is... Okay, you know, that's okay. But you could just probably just come in there. Retreat into the enemy territory. That's always a good idea. Always retreat into the enemy territory. So we can encircle and destroy them. They've lost... 10 guys. Jesus. 
Uh, if they want to do that, we'll give them a little bit more support too. That's really okay. Come on. Help them out, help them out. 96. 97. Do not throw that extra division in there for the love of God. Please don't do that. If you're going to do that, I'm going to do this then. Hmm. There's really no good place for me to attack. So, let's see what we can do. Army logistics, artillery. Hmm. Darn it, can't go there. What do we want? More war propaganda, but we don't really need that. Let's just go ahead and grab artillery guy. My artillery guy. Come on. For some reason the game's pretty laggy. I'm not sure why. 99. Stop attacking. Help him out. Go, 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 go. Do not let them move. Attack them right there. Good. Beautiful. Kill that Soviet division off. Soviet suckers. Ah, uh, there goes Romania. So the Axis is extremely powerful. That is something that I was not expecting. And I need you to hold a little bit stronger for now. Actually, what is our intel on these guys? 44% there. They have eight factories, military factories. Got a lot of population. 66% on our enemy's military intel. Not bad. Oh, we can actually see how many divisions they kind of have. So, these guys are like three combat with. I know that. These guys. Uh, number of divisions. That's probably about 10. 10-ish. Probably 12-ish, actually. 10 combat with. So, their divisions... Uh, they're okay. They could be... That could be worse. It could be much worse. Really, the Soviet divisions are the worst ones. But the Axis is looking... That's a big Yugoslavia. Holy cow. Big old Yugos there. Um, coming up that way, coming up, coming up there, actually. Supply-wise, we're doing better. We really are doing better. It's great. All right, you want to do that? Okay, I'm going to slip myself right in there. Good. <laughs> All right, well, you know, this is a bad idea to attack over a river. But, you know what, it is what it is. And it's three enemy divisions, so... <laughs> you wanted that tile so badly, you made a mistake. Good. And what is our production like? Oh, construction is doing okay. We're actually building more military stuff. Uh, could he probably use more guns? Light tanks are looking okay. The Republic of the British Antilles is gone. And we just, you know, they, they forced their way into the land. Beating up our army. And then we just encircle and kill them. I mean, what's better than that? What's better than encirclements and killing your enemy? Hmm. Ah, colonial simulation. I love it. 10% more non-core manpower. Beautiful. Uh, again, claims in Rhodesia. I might join the Axis, actually, just because I want Rhodesia. Recover East Indies. Annex Singapore. Deal with the Japanese. Annex war goal against China. Oh my goodness. Uh, armor focus. Okay, there goes Hungary as well. Whatever. Uh, Colonial Army. More non-court manpower. I kind of like that. That sounds like fun. What else can I do? Light aircraft research speed. Another military factory. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Portuguese artillery. Two. I love the artillery. I love the artillery so much. And I love infrastructure, which I want to do too. But field artillery is vital in modern battlefields. We must invest in building new facilities that will allow us to increase our production of artillery weapons. I'm really, really enjoying this campaign so far. Holy cow. Uh, plant false intelligence? Wait, what is that? Utilize double agents? F collect three units of that stuff? Oh, I can't afford that. I need way more support equipment for that. That sounds like, sounds like a lot of fun, but we don't have the resources for that right now. Cool. Come on, move up, move up, move up. <clears throat> yep, you guys move up as well. You guys just go there. Actually, you come here. You guys come there. The cavalry's looking great. Loving it. <clears throat> and I might want to research military police as well, because that's usually pretty good. Disperse industry, beautiful. Get more construction, awesome. 79 days, good, 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 good. War support is looking beautiful. Uh, you guys can definitely move into here, though. Short up the line a little bit, you can move up. You can also move up as well. Oh, boy. Look at that. That's going to be one nice Portugal when we're done here. Or, 
United Kingdom. We are the real United Kingdom. None of this United Kingdom of, you know, other nations and stuff. Uh, take Toledo. You know what? You guys can come down here too. We're getting attacked. That's fine. Whatever. Take Toledo. You know what? I'm going to take Madrid because I can. We're going to literally just walk into Madrid. The Gambia. Especially at France. Oh, Nigeria. You're, oh, Nigeria. You're a big Nigeria. Yeah, that's a scary uh, Africa now. Ah. Oh. Yeah, okay. So, I want my winnings. I didn't see what the World Score participation was. But let's be real. Without me, they would have died. So, I'm going to take what's properly my territory. At least for now. I'm going to take the states that I think... I really deserve here. So, I'm. Um, thank God for State Transfer Tool Mod. That might be too much. That's not bad. Let's do that. Because. I hope they don't join the Axis. We're gonna go to war with them. You can recover from your civil war as much as you like, but, uh. Wait. Oh, join the Carlist fight. Fight along the Carlists. Assist the. Oh. I, I really wish I didn't take that focus. I would love the Royal Iberian Alliance. Maybe they'll get a focus. Maybe if I liberate them, maybe we'll get the focus to do that. But we'll see what happens. Go ahead and stop killing off our own planes. Come to Southern Iberia. That's where we're going to attack first. We have a total of 24 divisions, which can do a great job. Now, what we need to do is decipher their stuff. It takes 300 days, which is quite a bit, to be honest with you. It's quite a bit. That's okay, though. But look at all the factories we have now. Galicia. Now, someone did say they want a long boy. A long... Uh, Iberia, which we're getting a little long and a little thick. I like it a little thick, a little long. Beautiful. Um, garrisons, be on medium. Who am I using for garrisons, actually? How can I check that? Oh, hold on. Resistance is probably rising. Yeah. So I'm using the Brigada de Cavalleria. Civilian oversight. What place was I using that had more than that? Galician Free State. Pfft. Come on, man. Be real. Return territory? No. No. Um. Let's see. Civilian oversight. Territorial management. Use. I really don't care about compliance. Secret police. Secret police might be okay. It helps reduce resistance by that much. Mozambique is okay. All the other normal territories are fine. Just the Spanish territories that we got to keep an eye on. 3.2 goes up to 3.4. Okay, maybe we need more than secret police. And maybe, maybe, maybe we need forced labor. It's a little laggy. I can't even see what this is. State resources. Damage to garrisons, way more. Screw it, we're going straight to martial law. That's fine. Compliance is going up a little bit. And you guys are the fellas that are garrisoning all that stuff. Give me more suppression, and we definitely need military police. Do we have enough guns? Oh, we got plenty of guns. Belgium joined the Allies. It's fine. You know what? I'm going to make these pretty thick. We won't need that many divisions of this to do okay. And our manpower will probably drop. But we get a 1,000 manpower a week, which is honestly really awesome. Really flipping awesome. Garrisons, do that. Make sure you're on high production. Infantry, let's go ahead and switch. put you with a ton of artillery, which is going to hurt our production of everything for a while, but, you know, whatever. Bergman's awesome. we got plenty of guns for now, so I'm going to do this. That'll be okay. Raise you down to go down to 5. It's 1939. Uh, production efficiency cap. What else do we want? We're doing really well. I mean, we're doing really, really well in my mind. Uh, what is a deficit of... That's not bad. Actually, that's not too bad. How strong are these guys, though? Recovering from Civil War. We have got about 100 days left. Oh, wait. They have only 11 divisions. Oh, we'll, we'll smash them easily. You guys, come on over to... Madrid. And you, come on over to... Catalonia. That'll be good. So we can start decrypting stuff, uncovering stuff in there. Uh, Belgium, oh, the United Kingdom actually did a pretty good invasion of D-Day, but then now they're getting pushed. Oh my goodness, they're getting pushed out. Maybe not. 
They want Normandy back, but the French, the Germans said no. Now, the only way that the Axis is probably going to fall is two things. If the Allies, <clears throat> excuse me, if the United States gets involved early on, or they can, the Soviets can crush them, like, down here. But that might not happen. I really don't know. I might join the Allies. I might join the Axis. I, it's just, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I'm loving seeing what we can do with Portugal. Portugal's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, at peace. Let's do press censorship. Portuguese artillery. Nice. Oh, we need some... Oh, we just need factories. We need a lot of factories. A little bit more steel, too, would it help as well. I don't mind trading away one more steel. Thank you, United States. We still want to keep good relations with you for that. Produce even more support... Well, actually, more artillery, actually. Ah, and there goes the Netherlands. Give them a... Oh! You should have done that earlier. You sh really should have done that earlier. Because now Belgium's completely gone. Oh, but the UK is... And Brittany. Barely. Barely. Once Cherbourg is gone, they're all dead. 90 factories. Not bad. Need more artillery. Always need more artillery. We need more steel. You know what? Do that. There you go. That's better. Uh, what are we producing? We can produce... Ooh. Factories. And... Porto. Porto. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very good. How many more days? Oh, the, even they have resistance down here. Do we have growing resistance in these areas? 10% goes to what? No, it's pretty much stationary, which is okay. The plane of guns, Sierra Leone has capitulated. Actually, let's double check. Ah, Portuguese artillery, 0.37. Yeah, man power part division, 10%. That's pretty much their cap, which is okay. Compliance is going up. We use quite a bit of this stuff, martial law, so be it. But let's end the episode with going down something else. Integrate. Oh, we can integrate places. Yes. Yes. Mm. Oh, we get a civilian factory, too. But integrate them. Oh, I want to integrate them. But factory. Mm. If we... Let's do the infrastructure first, just because that can help us build stuff faster. So, roads, bridges, and dams. We should invest in public construction projects that focus on improving our infrastructure and road systems. But, my friends, that is all the time for that we have today. What have we done? We have helped kill off the communists in Iberia. Next up, we will kill off the fascists in Iberia next time. And unite I Iberia either all under us, or release the Carlist monarchy. Let me know in the comments below whether I should release the Carlist as a puppet, or just own all of Iberia as proper Portuguese uh, territory. Anyways, guys, thanks for, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, if you liked it, leave a like. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow, where we have a great time. Thanks for watching. See you later.